Hace más o menos una semana el canal Alerta Pastores Masones Infiltrados subió el video que ustedes están viendo en pantalla, video en el cual se puede ver como un martillo y una pluma caen al mismo tiempo estando en el vacío. Y lo que ocurre con este video es que desmiente por completo la densidad terraplanista, densidad la cual explica por qué los objetos caen y otros suben. Pues si la densidad fuera real, entonces el martillo debería caer mucho más rápido que la pluma, siendo que es mucho más denso. O bien los objetos deberían quedarse flotando, pues si no están rodeados por un fluido, entonces la densidad no puede actuar, ni ejercer ningún tipo de cambio. Por desgracia para los terraplanistas, ambos objetos caen al mismo tiempo, desmintiendo por completo la densidad. Pero como era de esperarse, muchos se apresuraron a decir que todo es falso, ya que supuestamente los alunizajes también son falsos. Y ese fue el único argumento que las personas usaron en contra del video. En mi opinión este argumento es realmente muy estúpido, pues el mismo experimento puede ser reproducido fácilmente aquí en la Tierra. A continuación les enseñaré cuatro videos diferentes en donde podemos ver cómo la densidad queda completamente refutada. Todos estos videos originales se encuentran en la descripción. can actually see that if I drop that on my hand, that falls pretty fast, and if I drop the feather, it falls much slower. And that's actually due to air resistance, it's not due to the mass. So if we put these in here on our little uh, ledge, which we can use to drop them, there we go, and then we can um, actually film in slow motion uh, these falling down. Now you wouldn't actually need slow motion because we'd actually better see by eye that, um, and hear as well, the balls hit the ground um, and then just watch the feathers floating very slowly down. So inside we've got a little tilting platform and there's a little motor that's just holding it, so it's just resting on it. We have this drive box here which allows us to drive the motor out. So what we'll do is, um, John will actually start filming in slow-mo. Three, two, one, go. All three are dropping now. The two balls are falling at pretty much exactly the same speed. And the feather is only about an inch down from the actual platform, just as the other balls are about to collide with the ground. So the feather is still coming down. The balls are already kind of yeah. bouncing back up. Well, essentially, the feather, you can see it being uh, pretty intricate and fluffy there. Um, has experiences a lot of air resistance. Then if we remove the air, in theory, the feather should fall at the same rate as this heavy, massive ball. So what we have is this chamber here, 
Um, we actually use this for experiments, um, but here we're going to use it for this experiment and putting the feather and the ball in, pumping the air out of the chamber so it's in a vacuum, and then using our little uh, table and remote box again to release them all at the same time and film now through a window. So this is going to be, is it going to be like space? Yeah, pretty much like space. Um, just a lot easier to access, a lot cheaper to access. <laughs> okay, so we need to reset up the experiment. So we'll put the, uh, the balls back inside the chamber. It's now um, evacuating the chamber through, through this line here. So it's sucking out all of the air. So this is our gauge up here that tells us what pressure we have. This is reading a thousand millibar. So that means that we're at atmospheric pressure at the moment. So we should see this number come down it's coming down. Now that it's coming down, it comes down fast. Okay, so we're all ready. The chamber's at very low pressure now. There's very, very little air in there now. It's like a, almost a factor of a million kind of down in pressure. All right, so now we're going to drop it in vacuum uh, and see what happens. Are you, re are you ready? Are you ready? I am recording. I'm okay, recording. I'm now driving it out. Oh, and there it went. Okay. okay, so hopefully we got that. Yeah. The feather definitely fell faster, I could tell that. Um, whether it was as fast as the balls, we, we will have to wait and see. Now they're in free fall. And the feather's falling exactly the same speed. The big ball is slightly behind. I guess that fell off slightly later. But yeah, they're falling exactly the same speed. It works. Okay, so here we haven't got any air in the chamber. So unlike kind of in the normal world where we're surrounded by air and we see everything fall at different rates and may attribute that to like maybe uh, heavier things having a greater um, uh, gravity or a greater acceleration to them. Galileo's experiment was simple. He took a heavy object and a light one and dropped them at the same time to see which fell fastest. Now in this case, the feathers fell to the ground at a slower rate than the bowling ball because of air resistance. So in order to see the true nature of gravity, we have to remove the air. Okay, we dropped two millitor in the last 30 minutes. But once it's complete, there's a near perfect vacuum inside. 6104 manual, 10% open. Station one, go for drop. PCB 30-1, pressure set point at 240 PSI. We are go for drop. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Cameras on, two, one, release. <laughs> look exactly. at that. They came down exactly the same. Wow. Look, look, right look, there. Look. Look, right there. <laughs> look at how they hit right there. Wait, <laughs> exactly. You're back on the side. Of the exactly the same. Oh. Feathers don't move. Nothing. Look at look that. that. That's just brilliant. Okay, today to test out my new slow motion camera I got, I'm going to be dropping a feather and a chunk of metal and see if they hit the ground at the same time under a vacuum. So the key to this experiment is dropping them at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the feather to the top of the vacuum chamber with a magnet. So this experiment proves that gravity pulls on everything with the same acceleration. And the reason is because the force that gravity pulls down on you is proportional to the amount of mass in the object. So the more mass an object has, 
the harder gravity pulls on it, but the more mass it has, the harder it is to move. So what that amounts to is everything is pulled down at the same acceleration due to gravity. But what makes it a little bit messy is that in air, there's also air resistance when things fall, and so you can't really see how everything falls at the same rate. But if you remove that air, then you should be able to see that effect. Okay, first we'll do in-air test. So this is dropping a feather in air. Okay, we're under full vacuum now, so let's do our test under vacuum and see if it looks any different. Okay, I wanna do it in normal speed so you can appreciate how fast the feather actually falls. So here's feather in a vacuum, normal speed. Three, two, one. <laughs> it looks like it almost gets pushed down. It's weird to see it fall like that. Y pues bien, esos son los cuatro videos de los que les hablé. No sé con qué mentira me van a venir ahora los terraplanistas, pero les va a ser imposible desmentir realmente los cuatro videos. Y eso es todo por hoy. Adiós.